Deep-sea anglerfish are strange and elusive creatures that are very rarely observed in their natural habitat. Fewer than half a dozen have ever been captured on film or video by deep-diving research vehicles. This little angler, about 9 centimeters long, is named Melanocetus. It is also known as the Black Sea Devil, and it lives in the deep, dark waters of the Monterey Canyon. We believe that this is the first video footage ever made of this species, alive and at depth. Anglers have a remarkable apparatus on their heads, a fishing pole with a luminous lure at the tip, which they use to attract their prey. In the darkness of deep water, they flash the light to attract prey and draw them near the angler's mouth. When a fish or a squid swims up, it is quickly inhaled by the angler's huge mouth and trapped by its long, sharp teeth. Given the shape of this angler's body, it's pretty clearly not designed for speed. Instead, these are ambush predators lurking in the darkness to grab an unwary meal. Another thing we can tell from the shape of the body is that this is a female. In this species, the males are much smaller, and they lack the fishing pole and lure. Males are ill-equipped for feeding, and their sole responsibility appears to be to find a female and mate with her as soon as possible. When we came upon this specimen at a depth of about 600 meters, we noted that she has a broken tooth. You can see it on the left side of her lower jaw. We have no idea whether it will be replaced by another after it falls off. So far as we know, there is no tooth fairy in the deep ocean. You can see that the eyes of this angler are quite small. In their dark habitat, anglerfish rely more on feeling the movements of other animals in the water around them than on vision. The tiny pale dots you see along the sides of the fish and on its head are organs very sensitive to the slightest movements, and they function very effectively in the dark. The deep sea is filled with surprises and wonderful creatures. Humans have only just begun to explore this vast realm, and we can only imagine what discoveries are yet to be made. This is Bruce Robeson from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute.